everyone. Welcome back to another manga volume review. I'm the rat, and this is the rat's nest. Now, I, I do have to say, this is editing rat here. Um, I wanted to give a preface to this video because I, I needed to, <laughs> I need you to understand my perspective coming into this. So, I love Berserk. Over the summer, right, obviously this is going up late September, uh, really late, like latest day September. Over the summer, I read through Berserk's volumes 12 through 30. I'm through volume 30. Obviously, they're still being uploaded to the channel. This is just volume 13, literally just getting started. Volume 30 is a long way off. But whenever I started at volume 12, it had been a while since I had been in Berserk. And so I couldn't remember a lot of things. And as such, some stuff didn't hit as hard as it could have. Volume 13 is the prime example of this. I wanted to, I, I, I really, I, I contemplated going back and re-recording this review or not re-recording this review. And I ultimately decided that I wanted to post it as it was because my genuine review at the time. This, this was my, my genuine, <laughs> my unfiltered dog shit opinion, right? This was it. Um, where I mean, I liked the volume, but as you'll hear, um, I, I decided I wasn't going to re-record it but as i was listening to the beginning of it again while editing i was like I, I need to put something in so this is my opinion of it as is i will probably go back and re-record an entire review of the berserk clips uh just because of how important and impactful it is uh for everyone but i just wanted you guys to understand where i was at when i was making this and that this isn't my current opinion i'm through much more of berserk now and I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just, I wanted to preface it, so. <laughs> I hope that you all enjoy as, as much as you can. I'm sorry, it's, it's, this is pro, I, I really, this is probably the worst review on the channel, uh, I will say. Um, but I wanted to post it as is, uh, just because it was my genuine review at the time. So I, I hope that you all enjoy it. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to another manga volume review. I am the rat, and this is the rat's nest. Today we are discussing a volume that I literally just read, uh, Berserk Volume 13. Uh, it was a goodie. This one was very good. So I just recorded the Volume 12 review like an hour or two ago. I sat down and I read volume 13 and here we are and I've digested it right I've digested it and it's a very good volume I said that three times now there's not a ton to dissect with this volume I feel especially not compared to, to volume 12 it's, it's kind of similar to volume 11 in that it's a lot of action I'm not saying that's a bad thing whatsoever uh, there, I mean there, there's a lot of plot as well uh, but there's not as much like like deeper character stuff as there was in 12. I, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but just it, it's just there's less to less to dissect, right? There's less to dissect with this. But let's go into what was presented here. So the vast majority of this volume is the eclipse, the the climax, the culmination, the eclipse, right? Uh, Nuts goes around, and well, I think we start off with Casca, right? start off with Casca and judo kind of comes through and is like like look we got to get you to safety pippin comes in steps up uh they're all fighting everyone around them is dying l sucks to suck right um everyone's going around and dying so judo and Casca are running away judo is attacked yada yada dies gets attacked himself and he dies protecting her and all the while she was like she's like we got to go back and he's like he's like no he's like you can't fight just for die you have to keep struggling he said that's what i would say if I was him, wasn't what isn't it? Again, referencing Griffith, so it's like, and you know, all the while Casca's like, is this what Griffith wanted? Right? Is was this was this his intention with it? Right? Uh, which I think is is very interesting just to see her perspective of it a bit. And then obviously Judo dies, and he's like, you know, all this time never got to tell you all. He was in love with her. He was a cool character. I enjoyed Judo uh, for for what he was. You know, while while he was through, he's a fun character. All the, all the hawks that we see die. Um, obviously, all the hawks. Aside from Nuts and Casca, um, we, we see them all die. And, you know, it is sad. It is sad to see them go. 
Uh, there was some fun, like Gaston. Sad to see him go. The the way that he went was, you know, definitely not traumatizing for nuts at all. Seeing uh, uh, one of his his friends, his comrades' face, you know, blow up in front of him, definitely not traumatizing at all. Uh, Pippin, you know, the 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 gentle giant dead. Uh, Judo Corcus, you know, funny funny man Corcus himself dead. Um, I mean, really, it's just it's it's a lot of carnage, right? This volume uh, was written and, and everything was, was drawn to, to emphasize just the, the utter carnage and the 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 destruction and, and evil of the eclipse and it definitely does that it definitely does that all the demons you know um uh ah sweet man-made horrors beyond my comprehension <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just and it does a great job i mean you know, just the, the horror of this is like, well, the art again, you know, I, I raved about the art last volume. I'm going to rave about it again. It's absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, so the beginning of it is just a lot of, okay, everyone's dying, right? And, and nuts goes around. He sees everyone dying. He all falls into a pit of blood. The, the art amazing, right? And then he's going around seeing people die, right? L killing, killing creatures, you know, he's killing stuff. And they're, and even the God hand is like, Hey, yo, Kid's strong, uh, you know, he, he, he doesn't disappoint, but also that's just going to make him better food for, for Griffith, uh, or as he is now known, Femto. So we see that Nuts sees Casca, because after Judo dies, Casca goes and tries to resist, but she's stopped. And then all the demons are like, oh, a sacrifice, we got to eat her, but she's a woman. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like it's like coconut crabs with Amelia Earhart, you know, and so the you know so so Guts sees that kind of starting to get underway a little bit, right? And he's like obviously a little bit peeved at that, right? He goes, "It's berserk in time, uh, that's his things," you know, and so he goes on his rampage. Phenomenal art, right? I mean, I mean, what what can I say about the art, right? It's phenomenal, some of the best I've ever seen in a manga just uh, perfectly encapsulates just the the chaos and, and the and the rage that that nuts is feeling in that moment and and him going him going crazy just going to uh, going cuckoo uh you know going around kill, killing the guys that kind of thing <laughs> and then finally he gets to casca but right before he can uh-oh griffith is reborn or as he's now known femto so Zod is not the uh, the brain guy. His name is Void. It's Void, Sean, something, something, right? I can't remember the uh, the two bald guys with the hands. Um, and I, I apologize. It's not on the top of my head. But Void and, and Sean, I think, was the, uh, the the hot lady's name. Right? And so they're like, oh, welcome, welcome Femto, right? So that's, that's Griffith's demon name, Femto. Cool. He's the, 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 the angel of whatever, right? The... Angel of Evil, let us partake in this evil together, right? The the, the God Hand is interesting. Uh, it's interesting these these demons, and then later on, you know, uh, after the skeleton that comes in, which I'll get to, uh, and leaves, uh, they're like, you know, how could we predict that? You know, might be powerful, but we're not gods. So they don't even call themselves gods, which is interesting. I mean, I guess they're like the the hand of God, right there, the God Hand. Uh, but they themselves do not consider themselves gods, which is very interesting because they're very close to it in terms of of power and influence and that kind of thing i would assume at least from what i've seen so far it certainly seems as if they are and so it's just really interesting to you know see all of them and so yeah so griffith is reborn and he comes down and he says hi to guts and he says hi to casca and he gets a little handsy which guts isn't too fond of right have to avoid saying certain words i, I don't want this video to be nerfed by the uh the the algorithm you know lose all five of the views it's gonna get <laughs> you know <laughs> And Griffith ain't too happy with this. And we get all that. The art. What can I say about the art, right? You know, Nuts nuts being a little bit mad. Cuts off his own arms. We get the funny panel where he goes, Griffith, you know, the funny man. Uh, he screams it. And he goes through. And he's pinned down and forced to watch, which is not, not great for his mental health, probably. He should probably go get uh, better help uh, for, for therapy. Um, I am so sponsored by them. I should I should get sponsored by them. This is riveting content, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. All of that. And then Nuts is a little bit mad at that. And then after Griffith is finished, right? Uh, then the Skeleton Knight comes in, which is really awesome. 
and then he saves Nuts and Casca. We get to see him kind of have a little thing with Void, uh, and then he goes, and then Griffith tries to, like, crush him or something, which is cool. He's still probably figuring out his demon powers, but he picks up Nuts and Casca, gets away, right? Now, the Skeleton Knight is an interesting little critter here because I think it was the beginning of this volume that we saw a little bit of him with Zod, where Zod is like, you were my rival, you know, you've been their enemy. So it seems to me like the Skeleton Knight is almost like a Guts-type figure. Uh, maybe someone with a connection to someone in the God Hand. Maybe Void, because we got that little interaction with them. Um, it would be very interesting if each of the God Hand had their own Guts-like figure, right? Uh, but but he's, he's very interesting since he seems to have a history with Zod, and I can't remember Zod's lore myself. I don't know how much I'm supposed to know. Uh, but but he seems to be an ancient guy who's, who's pretty darn strong uh, to be able to, you know, talk about the God Hand and the various demons in there. Like, he's very much so above them, and I, I expect that he is because the Skeleton Knight, uh, sure, beat him, but their, their fights always pretty much come to a standstill. He's a very interesting character. I'm really looking forward to figuring out more about the Skeleton Knight. Uh, but just the way that he's presented, he feels almost like a, a Guts-like character, or at least what Guts, I think, how I feel like Guts is going to become in the future, uh, that, that time, the character. Uh, it's just really interesting, swoops in, steals him, gets him out, you know, to, for someone to, to delve into the, the depths of the Eclipse like that, he has to be pretty strong. And him to beat Zod, I think that he is pretty strong. He comes out, there's Rickert, gives them to him. And then Zod's like, ayo, bro, run these hands. And uh, Skeleton Knight's like, ayo, bro, nah. Yeah, this, and then Zod's like, Ayo, he, he lived? That's kind of whack, though. I'll let you go. I'll let you go, bro, for real. And then Skeleton's like, Ayo, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. And then, so then Skeleton Knight and them head out with Rickard. And then Nuts wakes up with... And then that's where we get the line where it's like, oh, you know, we're not gods, which is interesting, right? The eclipse ends. Cool, the feast. Griffith is born. Very interesting artwork. It's like, you know... Earlier, before he was born, he's like, oh, their, their deaths are feeding me, yet I don't feel anything. This is a crystallization of your last tears. Uh, it, was, it was all very interesting. All very, very interesting stuff. Just him becoming a demon, becoming one of the, the, the five blessed angels or whatever they're called. Becoming a God Hand member uh, and just becoming a fully embracing the, the demonic side of him. Interesting. Nuts wakes up and he's like, where's Casca? He doesn't have an arm, doesn't have an eye. What, like, like he doesn't have at the beginning of the series? Dwa? That's where he lost them? Dwa? We're finally getting more into to Guts Guts, right? He goes to try to find Casca. He finds her. She woke up two days before him, but she doesn't remember anything. She, seen, she doesn't remember, have any memories. She seems to have regressed to like a childlike state. And she only trusts Erica, who I think is like Rickard's sister or something. So... That's a little bit devastating for Nuts, I would say. Right? As to why she regressed to this state, probably by just having her mind destroyed by the horrors that she witnessed and experienced during the eclipse. Um, Ayo, who's getting the best panic attack kind of thing, you know? Uh, if I had to guess, that's why. And I'd also say that that led into her distrust of Rickard and Guts and her trust of Erica. Uh, she probably just distrusts men, which, you know... I can't exactly blame her. Uh, <laughs> so Nuts is obviously a bit peeved at this, so he goes out I probably to go fight. And then Rickard's like, oh, no, don't do that. You know, the, the, the guy said not to. Goes out there, and we get a little scene where, where Nuts is, like, chasing, and he's, like, remembering everyone, that kind of thing, everything that he lost. He sees Griffith, and he's just, like, crying, and he just breaks down. It's like, man, that's a good scene. It's a good scene, just him, you know, the, the horror is kind of, like, settling into him him realizing yeah they're all gone like that like that's all gone you know finally he gets a gets a moment to catch his breath and that all sinks in and that's just man that's heavy that's heavy for him and then skeleton knight shows up and like the spirits are clinging on to nuts because he's a demonic sacrifice and so they're like attached to him every 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 part of him has been uh uh, sacrificed to for the evil right for for evil spirits and whatnot it's very interesting and then Nuts is like, no, like I'm, I'm declaring war. He's like, this is, he's like, I'm not haunted, right? He's like, this is war. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill everything. I'm gonna kill all of these guys, right? That doesn't matter. It, 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 haunted? That doesn't matter to me. This is war. This is my declaration of war, right? But then all of a sudden they stop, and Nuts is like, huh? Why they do that? And then Skeleton Knight is like, oh, they found another target. And Nuts is like, uh oh, that's Casca. And then he rides with the Skeleton Knight. It's really cute. Uh, <laughs> So this is where we also get so nuts is halfway between the world of the living and the world of the dead 
which as a demonic sacrifice, I think makes sense. Um, it'll be interesting to see exactly how much these things plague him going forward. Uh, obviously, in terms of strength, they're, they're not much, but it's going to be interesting just to see how much they're kept up with right you know if they're if, if they're ignored if there's like a reason if they go away maybe he he gets too strong for them to attack i assume that this skeleton knight figure is somewhat similar uh and they didn't seem to be attacking him so maybe it's just like once they get too strong kind of thing i don't know but i think that this is an interesting thing because i don't see casca really getting rid of them so it it, it goes into uh him protecting her and going forward i think that's going to be very interesting to see so yeah so that's pretty much the volume like i said there, there's not much to really dive into deep i just i mean the art the action was amazing the character moments the obviously a lot of plot progression happened uh griffith being reborn as femto i think is probably going to be pretty huge for the series you know uh and that's losing a, an arm and an eye obviously a big thing because that affects him for the rest of the series i would assume unless he like it's healing magic or something i don't know to what degree magic exists in this world um but i mean i know there are at least fairies or, or elves I, I think i think maybe puck is an elf and i think maybe puck gets reintroduced next volume which would be very interesting uh, but yeah, going forward, just really looking forward to seeing how Nuts adapts to this new life, seeing how his life changes, seeing, you know, he obviously wants revenge on Griffith. How is he going to go about doing that, right? That sort of thing. Uh, how is Casca going to be going forward? You know, what other kooky, crazy characters are we going to meet uh, going forward with, with Nuts' little journey here? I think it's going to be very, very fun and very interesting to see. And it'll also be interesting to see because I think Nuts met Puck in Volume 1. So it's going to be interesting to see if that's still canon. I think we saw the, the, the demon guy from Volume 1 in this volume, which was very interesting. So I guess, you know, just summoned him from wherever and then sent him back. I wonder if, if that's still going to be canon. And it's just it's going to be very interesting to see. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, will I read Volume 14 tonight? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see where that goes. But it was. Uh, I really, I really did enjoy Volume Thirteen. I think it was a great volume. I'm very much looking forward to the next one. So if you're this far in the video, obviously there's something you like. So make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what your favorite part of this volume was. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.